so in this video i'm going to solve code force's global round 26 so i will be solving first four problems of this problem set so let's start with problem array that is strain splitting so in this question we are defined a range of a non-empty array to be as maximum value minus the minimum value for example the range of 1 4 2 is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 okay now what we have to do we have to color each and each and every element of a array either blue or either red okay such that the range of red elements does not equal to range of blue elements okay and there should be at least one element of each color so how we can do this so the answer is very much simple but why if all the elements are equal then we cannot divide because at in any case the both minimum and maximum number of both the arrays would be same and answer is no you can see answer is no but in any other case you can simply divide you can simply select any of the la, any of the largest number and any of the one of the smaller number okay and that's because all the problem i think so if there is no much like showing the code in this problem because it's very much easy problem i thought i think so you can implement this on your own so let's now discuss problem B. that is large addiction so in this question we are given a digit which is as which a digit is large if it is between 9 and 5 okay and a positive num and positive number is a large if all of the digits are large which means a a positive integer is large if any if every digit of that number is between 5 and 9 okay and we are we are given a integer number x such that it can be sum of two large positive integers with the same digit same number of digits okay so we have to tell them whether and uh, whether the given integer x can be sum of the two large positive integers with the same number of digits if it is yes simply print yes else print no so how to solve this problem so to, you can solve this problem using dp approach it can uh, it can there can be another approach also but i have solved this using dp approach but how but how for example this is a my test case like one three three seven so to start with this, this index you will maintain two variables first is index and second is carry okay that your dp shares would be i comma carry carry would be the number of which, which you are carrying from the previous index so tell me what is the initial value of carry the initial value of carry would always be zero okay regret now how you can generate seven you can generate seven from what are the numbers like five six seven eight nine okay and similarly five six seven eight nine now tell me what are the two numbers which are giving a sum of seven okay i think so it can be five oh, or it can be i think so eight comma six yes sixteen minus two that is okay okay wait wait wait, wait. that is eight plus nine okay it either it can be eight or it can be nine okay yes eight plus nine what is it eight plus nine is i think so it is is it yes it is 17 okay plus one now tell me what is what are the what are the two numbers on which uh, by which okay let me repeat it again so what are the what are the two numbers in this set which you can choose such that your sum is 14 but why 14 because you are also having a carry over here no so let me try to debug the case so for example it is 6 comma i think so 6 comma 6 is 12 plus 1 12 so it can be 6 it can be 6 or what is it 6 comma 6 this is 12 plus 1 that is 13 3 now 1 carry now again you can again follow the same approach 1 6 6 that is 1 3 that is 3 now here it is carry would be 1 okay carry is 1 so carry is 1 so what are the two numbers so two numbers are this number and this number okay so for each and every index you have to carry index and a carry so let me show the implementation so i think so dp approach can be more be justified by using the code i guess so so first of all for example this is my dp set that what is my dp array n comma carry and my maximum carry can be two uh, so I, I have a mega i have so my maximum carry can only be one so i will i have a make a small error it can be i think so two so it can also work now start what is what is my dp function doing if my let's suppose i am iterating for let, let me try to debug it again, uh, tell you again if i am reaching my current index if my reaching my last index that is in index is equal to zero okay which means i am reaching at my this index okay if i am reaching at my this index that is outside let me for example this is if this is my array and i am reaching at this index i am reaching at this index okay i am reaching at this index so if your carry is not equal to zero then answer is not possible because you can say in this case your carry is 1 and for the next index that is index i minus 1 you have you have carry value is equal to 0 okay if your carry value is equal to 0 which means if you are at 
outside outside you outside of your array and your carry is not equal to 0 then you are then it is not the case else you will simply return true or one okay great now current is my value of my current index for example this is 7 so 7 is my current okay now i will iterate from 5 to 9 and iterate from j to j. iterate in j from 5 to 9 also now check if my i plus j plus carry is if my if my large index of my i plus j plus carry is equal to current number then answer can be possible that is answer is equal to answer over index minus 1 uh, nums divided by 10 what is nums divided by 10 this is this is the carry part for example if this is my number then my current number is 3 and my carry part would be 1 okay that is the case and what is this or operator doing so for there can be a, another operation also another operation can be there by which i am getting the same answer so for that answer i have to i have to evaluate for each and every case that's why i'm doing a or operation okay great now one more thing if your carry is equal to current value and you are not on your you are, you are not on your last value let me repeat it again if your carry is equal to current value and you are not on your last index then you can also return the one but you can say this index this index and you can see on this index because your carry is is equal to current value that is 1 is equal to 1 in this case my carry is equal to 1 Go 6 plus 6 is 13 plus carry is coming from this 13 plus for, for this value my carry is 1 and my this one is equal to this one okay but this one is equal to this one so you can simply justify the case like if your carry is equal to current value and you are not on the last index then simply uh, return 1 else your answer would be all of the complete answer so that's equal to the problem B so let's now discuss the problem C that is C1 magnitude easy version so I think so it is brute force approach but why is it dp plus brute force let me try to debug the case here so first we'll tell you the answer, tell you the question so initially we are given a value c which is equal to 0 and for each and every operation what you will do you will simply add the current a of i value in your c okay great add the a of i value in your c okay great adding now move to the, move to the next index now by moving to the next index what you will do you can simply make an absolute value the last value for example if if it is let's suppose if if my if my first value is let me tell you here if your first value is minus 10 and your c is equal to 0 now one operation could be you can make c is equal to c plus 10 okay is equal to 10 okay or you can make c is equal to c plus 10 or oh, i can this is equal to minus and this could or make an absolute value that is equal to 10 and this is a minus 10 now let me repeat again okay if your first value is 10 and your c is equal to 0 then one operation can be c plus minus 10 okay great another value can be c plus minus 10 but where, where is the where is the difference you have to make absolute of this so one operation will give you minus 10 and another operation will give you only 10 so that's the that's the sort of operation which you, can, which you can perform on this array now after performing some operation you have to tell them what is the maximum possible value attainable so i will show the code of this question also because it is also dp approach and telling you the dp approach in this part is very much difficult so let me show the code so this is the code of this question so what you will do you will simply make a dp of string command i will tell you why i am taking a string okay now what is my dp function doing so this is my dp function so what you will do you i is index current see the current value or you can see the current cost or you can see the current c value okay now constant array and this is a dp now what you will do option one what is your option one option one is simply what you will do you will simply add one you will simply add your current value in your c and simply move to the next index your your option two would be simply add abs simply send absolute value of current c plus a of i to the next function to the next index and your result will be maximum of both the options okay now but 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 there is a case you, you you must be figuring out that your my dp constants are my dp variables are current c comma i and my current c can be very large and my i is already 1 e5 so how is this even possible in the dp function but you will notice one thing i am generating a string over here that is string i comma string i am generating a string of index comma current c and just iterating on the next part but how to but how i am getting this but how i am getting this so but simply you can notice one thing that for each, each and every index your maximum value your number of values h at your i index is not as large as possible by using this fact by using this fact you can simply attain this value 
and this function and this will run be justified and don't give you TLE okay so now let's discuss the last problem that is problem number C that is magnitude hard version so in the previous forum but they have said to generate the maximum value now in this question you tell them how many ways are there such that you can generate the maximum value more less this number so I have, I have used the same code I have used the same this code in the last in the last problem also first of all first of all get the result this this what is my this function doing result is the largest sum possible which I which I can get result is the largest sum largest sum possible which I can get now what I'm doing I'm sending this result in my second function that is solve to what is my solve to doing my solve to is simply what is what it is doing it is some it is simply generating the answer if my current C it is the same code as above if my current C is equal to maximum value what is the maximum value maximum maximum value is that value which I'm get, getting from the first function if my current C is equal to my maximum value then simply return 1 okay if simply return 1 in above but in the you can see in a in the above function but I'm doing I'm, I'm returning the maximum of option 1 and option 2 but in this case I'm as I'm returning 1 not the current C I have to return the option 1 plus option 2 because this will represent the number of cases in which I'm getting the maximum answer as a current max C okay now simply do a models of this also and you you can you can understand this approach why I'm doing this string operation and simply print the answer so if you have any doubts in any of these four problems you can comment in my round and please stay tuned for the next one thank you